Hey everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a small summer book haul just because I haven't uploaded in forever. It's been since like the beginning of June, which I know I did say that I was going to upload some videos this summer, but I totally like lied to you guys and I'm really sorry. I just I have not been writing this much this summer compared to last summer. Last summer was like my great reading summer. I read so much last summer and then this year i just been in a really big slump. So this year has really been a terrible reading year for me. I really hope that 2019 will be a better reading year for me. I'm kind of feeling determined that it will be so you know watch out for those videos. But I do have a small little small um, haul of books that I bought this summer. I'm pretty sure I will be buying more. No doubt about that. Um, but I'm about to start college soon, so technically summer's already halfway over for me. Within a week, next Wednesday, I start my <laughs> first week of college. Oh my god. Um, anyway, with enough chit-chat, I'm going to jump right into this little tiny book haul. So all of these books are actually from my secondhand or thrift stores here in my town. Um, so, you know, yeah. That's usually where I get all my books from. I don't like to pay full price for things, especially books. The first book that we have here is called Body Surfing by Anita Shreve, cute cover, really beachy, summer themed. Um, I believe this is about sex trade. I read a little bit of the cover in the beginning. Um, it's about a girl named Sydney that's a widow, I'm pretty sure, and then she gets involved with the sex trade and a bunch of drugs and like gambling and stuff like that. Um, you can read more in depth of this, like on Goodreads and stuff like that. I'm not gonna like, you know, waste your time by reading unless y'all really want me to, but I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it seems like a really good book. Definitely sounds like a really, like, you know fucked up kind of life kind of book which you know I love those kind of books um as well as romance books so this one will be really good this was 250 from my liberty thrift so yeah it's about like maybe like 300 some pages so probably a little bit of a quick-ish read longish read a book for me but yeah it's a hardback pretty good this one is called the delivery man by joe mcginnis jr and it has a girl on the cover in the back of like car which seems pretty cool um again i don't really know what this is about at the time i knew what it was about uh i think this is like a like mystery novel which i've recently been getting really into those which is really surprising i think it's because my friend likes reading mystery books so like i kind of been looking for mystery books so we'll have to see how this goes um this was 125 pretty cheap deal yeah Next one is one that I got from Ollie's. It is called A Better Goodbye by John Scullin. I don't know. I totally butchered the title, but look how pretty that cover is. It is so beautiful. Um, again, it's, I think this was this was the book about the sex trade. Never mind. That was wrong. This is the book about sex trade. Um, you know, robbed, like, rape triggers and stuff like that. Um, it was $2.99 from Ollie's. It really dragged me in because the cover, you know, it's a different story than on the back. Completely different story than you would think from the cover. You would think it would be like, like a romance story, you know? But no, it's about trade, sex, and robbing, and drugs, and all that stuff. So, um, it seems really good down my alley of books to read. So, the next one, another mystery, is Seven Years to Sin by Sylvia Day, which I have heard this author because I was just working at a bookstore for about a month, and I, a lot of people actually asked about her. And this is called Seven Years of Sin. This is a smut kind of book, which mm, the girl loves smut. Um, so my friend actually pointed this out to me because she read this book, I think, or she wanted to read this book, something like that. I got it from my thrift store for 150, so I had to pick it up because it just seemed really good. Like I love smut. Like who doesn't? And the last book that I actually already read. Yeah. Um, next week will be a August wrap up. Um, June, July and August wrap up and then I will also be doing my September t TBR so look out for that I just feel like you know filming right now so I wanted to film like a little summer haul for you guys so this one is the haunted northern New York stories just like basically this book really has creeped me out for the past few nights when trying to sleep it's kind of ruined my life but I really want to read more of her books it's by sherry revi something like that she has a few books um she i think she's written a lot of these in like the 2000s era like early 2000s um it's basically about her experience like i think she's like she goes to like these haunted places and talks to the people about their experiences that they had these certain locations and attractions and she's changed like the names up and stuff in it but there's this one place that i want to go visit because like she actually like gave it a shout out and it's in new york i'm not that far from it it's like four hours away from me which is not that bad so i really would love to go and like you know 
go to the attraction but it was a really good book i definitely do suggest it um i got it from my thrift store so i mean why not uh, I definitely want to get more of her books. She's one in Massachusetts, and I'm obsessed with Massachusetts, so I really want to go read that one. And there's also more New York ones. This is a fairly decent price book, but I've noticed that these online are coming to like $30 to $50, which is really insane, even to $10, which I wouldn't think, because this is like a 129-page book. I've read this within like three days. So this kind of helped me get back on my reading thing, my reading grind, but I'm still struggling. Um, I also have another book that I forgot that I'm looking at right now that I was going to start. That's what I need to talk to you about next. This is actually the last book of this haul. It is called The Virgins, and this is a really completely different kind of book than I would read. I usually don't expand out of my type of reading category. Um, I usually don't read anything other than white characters, and I really hate that because, I don't know, I just... I. I'm just like in my bubble of my happiness and what I like to read and everybody is in that way too. I have a hard time with expanding because I know I probably won't be finish reading the book or I'll just DNF it or I'll just get in a book slump again and I don't want that because I'm always in a book slump. So basically this is about, this is, this is in 1979 and I never read any 90s books ever because I don't know, I just find it weird. Um, it's about a... It's, it's, a, it's like a romance, it is a romance, but it's about a boarding school and it's a Cor Korean American and a Jewish girl. So it's a lot of different um, races, that's what I was trying to say, different type of races involved in this book and I think it's a really good read for myself to like get n knowledge on, kind of. So it's called The Virgins by Pamela Ahrens, so it's a really cute looking cover and I think it's just about how these teens are just kind of like they match and they meet and like they just kind of like learn about each other like a lot about each other like they really just bond and then they, they still somehow keep their virginity intact so it just seems like a really good like romance like on the edge of your seat kind of um romance book so like i'm kind of all for that i was gonna start reading it now like last night but i was really tired and didn't go to bed till like 4 a.m because i was tired and didn't read a book whatever anyway yeah and i got this for 150 for my thrift store Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that little haul. I'm sorry I have not been uploading. Today's has been a really good day for me just to film. I'm just in a really uppity mood right now. I don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah, I will see you all next week with a new video. Give this video a big like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.